A very good morning to all. Today we are celebrating Ascension Day. And Ascension Day is one of the most neglected holy days. Maybe because it falls in, during a weekday, but I think the most important reason is that people don't fully understand what this day signifies for us. We read in Luke chapter 24, verses 50 to 51, Jesus led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And while he blessed them, he parted from them and was carried up into heaven. No doubt that for some, the idea of Jesus going up into the sky like a heavenly astronaut is somewhat bizarre and out of the harmony with the spiritual character of the gospel. So what is the meaning of ascension of our Lord? You see the cloud which received the Lord out of the sight was not an ordinary cloud in the sky. It was the Shekinah. Also means the cloud of the divine glory, the visible sign of God's presence. Into the cloud the risen Christ entered when he parted from his disciples. So ascension is virtually the counterpart of the incarnation. At one stage Jesus told his disciples, I come from the Father and have come into the world. And again he told them, I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. But two very important things I want to mention this morning. The ascension marks the end of Christ's earthly mission and his redemptive work. No more will they see him in his visible form, but in the person of the Holy Spirit, as he has promised us to leave behind the Holy Spirit as our comforter and also as our guide. In the Hebrew language, he has passed into the heaven as our right great high priest, not to offer sacrifice for sin, but by virtue of his sacrifice to represent us to God, to be our intercessor or our mediator and our comforter and our advisor. He also does that by his presence on his father's throne. He is also our, our advocate with the father, which means that him going back to his father, we have a friend in him at court. We are often forgotten here on earth, but in heaven there is one who always remembers and bears our name upon his heart, and that is God. Very important that the ascension of Christ is the bestower of the Holy Spirit, and it is also the power of the Spirit that he now fulfills in the ministry in the world through us as his church. The fact that he have ascended did not stop him of being love, of being mercy. So we, me and you, are to be his hands and his feet here on earth. Yes, marks the end, but also the beginning, as I said, being the mediator and the advocate. Christ is not dead and gone, but is alive in us and through us. And he promised us that I am with you always to the very end of the age. Let us know today that it's important for Christ to go away so that he can come back and fetch us so that us can be with him. As he says in John 14, let not your heart be troubled. I'm going to prepare a place. When that place is ready, I'm coming to fetch you so that you can be with us. May you have a blessed ascension day. And may we, as we wait patiently for him to come back to fetch us, may we keep the faith amidst what is happening at this moment. Let us pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for your ascension. And thank you for your grace and mercy. Bestow upon us in Jesus' name. Amen.